presence. Now one together. What is vibing? This is Vish. And today I'll be talking about revolutions or really just the topic, which is what you read from the title, which is what to do if you are feeling stuck or if you in a way are feeling like you keep going back to that same spot over and over again and you're either in the same spot or you're even moving backwards so i want to help you kind of break that down in this video as well as explain how that is not true and it's literally impossible so let's start first off before we start actually Let's start with a little gratitude. I want you to comment down below something you're grateful for, anything, in this present moment. Go ahead, take a second. I was just taking some presence, uh, conscious breaths, as you hopefully type that in. And if not, then you were just present with me. So that is completely fine. So with that being said, actually, let me come right back. I'm gonna be turning the light on. So appreciate your patience, more presence practicing. Okay, there we go. So back to this whole topic of presence. I mean, this will connect with the whole idea of what I'm trying to discuss with you in a moment. But in this moment, well, it's important to realize this first things first. This moment, not that moment, this moment. And not that, it was this. This, as I've learned from South Korea, he, he explains it really well, is all that you will ever have, literally. Let that sink in. That's all that you will ever have. So in a way, and this is where I kind of maybe made some sort of connecting the dots, and I'm not saying this is completely true, it could be wrong and so on, but just expressing the realization aspect of it. And it's, what I've heard from science, which is this whole idea of singularity and how way, 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 way back, everything was, everything was this infinite density particle, and somehow a bunch of the Big Bang occurred and then started spreading, and here we are, the universe spreading, and it's expanding, the expansion of the cosmos. Again, if these are hopefully appropriate terms to be used. So with that being said, in a way, what's so interesting is all the moments that you ever have are technically just one moment in a way because when you think about the past you're thinking about the past in this moment when you're planning for the future you're planning for the future in this moment it is in a way this moment is kind of the singularity particle to connect that dot <laughs> connect that particle <laughs> so with that being said uh it's interesting so the reason i'm even saying that is is it one, it's interesting, but it's also very crucial, significant. Because when you truly realize that this moment is all that you have, there will, you will cease to end. Well, what will cease or what will end would be suffering. And what will cease and what will end will be this whole kind of practice that a lot of us do. In fact, I still relatively do it from time to time and it was definitely an unconscious habit in the past, which is making this moment a means to an end. So what that really just means, and I've learned this from Eckhart Tolle actually, is you're doing something, but doing it with the intention of the end goal or looking forward to the end goal, and you're just not even present, to keep it simple. So, like I said, that is very futile because you are literally leaving this present moment. You see, suffering itself is the space that's created from what is to what you want or what you where you are virtually are which is whether you're in the past or in the future so when that space is kind of created and not this is not the inner spaciousness that Eckhart talks about this is the space between what is to what isn't that is a suffering 
when you are able to let go of what you kind of want and that doesn't mean that you can't have desires but having the desire having the want in the now is the key and i'll explain more about that in another video if that's a little confusing but let's just get to the point of this which is letting go of that will allow you to be in the now and that is all that you have so with that being said now let's really tie this all into this whole question of are you feeling stuck and uh do you keep going back and find yourself that you're just not moving forward you're not progressing so how do you fix that well like i said earlier that's not true and i had this beautiful realization recently and this honestly sparked just within it could have been inspired uh and actually, I had this realization, which I might have tried, tried to share in another video, which I just didn't re, like connect the dots. But inspiration itself, in a way, I learned this from Eckhart Tolle, and I think even Sadhguru Guru too, but inspiration means in spirit. Just something, I thought that was very cool. But with that being said, I had this realization, which was the idea that, and this was actually when I was talking to on the phone with the brother Kasun. And this is a while back, and we were doing something called the Inner Internship, and beautiful, beautiful man, and a beautiful journey that we've had, and connection that we have right now, in the now. <laughs> so with that being said, he was asked, or he asked me, or not even asked, he just was expressing how he feels like he's stuck, and he's not moving, and so on, which is something I'm sure a lot of us could relate to, and that is totally okay, completely okay. But here's the key, and that's what I realized. It just kind of came from within, like I said. Imagine you're standing on this spot of earth, where you, wherever you are right now, sitting and watching this. You can be in India, you can be Canada, UK, Australia, America. That's where my largest audiences are from. Those uh, Canada, UK, Australia, India, US, so those five places. And uh, yeah, so I mean, you could be somewhere else too. But anyways, the point is, Imagine you're on that spot and then you just happen to do this jog, maybe flu, whatever. And then there's a relatively fast pace. You're not, you know, it doesn't take forever is a point. But you're making a full 360 around the globe, right? Just one 360. So you could have made different 360s. But in this case, you just made one 360. Now, You've made that one 360 and that's that's nice and now you're back in the same spot so on paper let's just say you come back to the same spot physically on paper you are the same on the same spot but are you the same person do you have are you the same do you have the same memories or do you have new memories do you have the same experiences or do you have new experiences do you have the same level of knowledge or learning or even wisdom, for a matter of fact, or are they new? That is a key. You see, every time you feel like you're getting set back or you're in the same spot over and over again, you see, it's just an iteration. Uh, as I guess I'll make another video on this, but it's actually, I'll do that real quickly just in terms of putting the topic down so I don't forget. But it's called... Um, an iOS update to so hold on. Appreciate your patience. Okay, yeah, it's just called an iOS update. But basically, in order for the update to occur, you might think you're in that same version, but there's all these small bugs that get fixed. And and the whole point I'm making is. You're actually never, ever in the same spot or in the same moment. You're in the same spot, but on paper, but you're not in the same moment. The experiences you've gained from that hardship, from that quote unquote falling back, it goes to show what I've said earlier with the whole idea of this moment being the only thing that you have. It is the only thing that you'll ever have. So you can never literally go back. You can never literally be in that same position, literally. It's a very simple thing. When you realize that it provides a new sense of freedom for continuing what you're doing and continuously going at it because truly it is impossible to be in that same moment again. And so that is it. It's all about realizing that you will never be in the same, same experience, same mind, same 
body. So it's changing literally every waking moment. And so that's it. With that kind of reframed view of mind, like I said, you can never be back. You can never be falling back. You can never be in the same spot. Well, same experience. <laughs> never same in the never in the same moment. So to answer your question about how do I get out of this rut or how do I get unstuck and so on, well, you don't. Because you were never stuck in the first place. You thought you were. But that's where this realization came to be. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you taking the time. Make it a right day. Take it joyfully. Presence. Now one together. Stay conscious. Ecstasy.